time it is, let's talk. You're on with Big J. I'm going to ask you to do me a favor. Go by Deacon Mac's page and make sure that you subscribe. That's D Mac. He's one of our host narratives on our channel with our live streams. Tonight, I want to talk about what I want to talk about. And that is Stephen A. Smith and Kwame Brown. On the thumbnail I have, to every action, there's a reaction. Whether it's good or when bad. I look at the narrative of everything that's going on, and the one thing I will say, I, I'm not biased. I don't have an opinion. I'm gonna be honest with you. I use YouTube to support my narrative to get likes, views, and subscribers. That's what it's for. So your actual level of competition is defined by your choice of subject content. I'm not gonna lie. Other people say, "Man, I just got your back. I want to support you, God, bro." That's not that, because if you did, you say, man, I don't want nothing. Don't shout me out. Don't do anything. You know why I say that? My father taught me a long time ago, never take wood nickels. Never take anything from anyone, because if you do, they control you, and you have to go by their narrative. Big J, let's talk. D-Mac, let's talk. We're not under anybody's narrative or anybody's thumb. As YouTube partners, we agree, and those things we agreed on, we are Guess what? Making sure that the two men on the screen, if isolated, in a room by themselves, what would they talk about? What do they have in common? One's light-skinned, one's dark-skinned. One is an athlete, one is not. One represents corporate America, one doesn't. But if they had a conversation that was conducive to both their realities, it would be about one thing, economics, dollars. Kwame's made over 69, almost $70 million in the NBA. Stephen Smith, corporate dollars, he has them. So what am I saying? Both of these individuals had a reaction to their job. Stephen A does what he do. What, what does he do? His job calls, he's paid to critique people and even make them look bad or good. That's what he paid for. Kwame Brown was play, paid to play basketball. Kwame Brown was paid to play basketball. Been a 17-year-old trying to play with the likes of Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant, who were top-tier athletes, would have been devastating for any 17-year-old. Yes, they would have been making a whole lot of mistakes. The only issue Stephen there, the only issue Stephen A. Smith needs to print, present the entire narrative, because there were a lot of games he didn't drop the ball. There were a lot of games he scored. But what I'm saying is this. Sometimes we can't wave the white flag and say, I don't want to do it anymore. See, because I've learned one thing about both these individuals. Like I tell you, I study, I watch, I study, I listen. I watch your movements on camera. I watch your lips. I watch what you say. I watch if you stutter. I'm looking for anything that contradicts what you're saying. And when I see certain things, it's evident, but my business, all right? So the understanding here is, that Stephen A. Smith put out a video tonight. And what my job as a content producer is, or creator, is for you to look at my narrative and you make a decision and a choice. I'm gonna show his video. Look, I don't have a single negative thing to say about Kwame Brown, the person. Nothing personal, never have. And no one out there has been attacking him personally either. That includes Gilbert Arenas, who did not attack him personally. It includes Steven Jackson, who did not attack him personally. It includes Matt Barnes, who he really got personal about, and Matt Barnes never said a word. It doesn't include Charlemagne the God either, nor Dr. Boyce Watkins. He didn't say anything bad about Kwame either. Nor did Michael Wilbon deserve Kwame Brown coming at him. But Kwame Brown's been getting personal with everybody these days. Talking a whole bunch of smack. Saying, we don't support black men. Really? Really? Please. The only negative thing anybody ever said about Kwame Brown is that he couldn't play a lick of basketball. Newsflash! That wasn't a lie! When you put yourself and you put your game out there in the best league in the world, people can comment on it because you're putting your talents on public display. 
Before I go any further, join me in taking a look. I don't want to watch Kam, um, Kwame's bloopers. Not interested in that. I want to look at the facts, and I want to give you the facts, and you make your own opinion. But what I'm going to say is this. Someone at the top is sitting back laughing because you have your rah rah club who's pushing Kwame because their economics of their channel are, um, is succeeding. Some of you are not looking at what I'm looking at. Some of you are not looking at what I'm looking at. And much prayer is needed. It's really needed. Okay? It's really needed. Because somewhere along the line, this 17-year-old boy, now a man, was affected. Could you imagine Kobe Bryant coming on an interview after the game and saying what he said about Kwame Brown? I love Kobe to life when he played the game. He said, Phil, get him out the game. In other words, why? Because he looked at me and said, don't pass me the ball. I'm nervous. Kobe said, Phil, get him out the game. I'm not going to use the, um, the curse words Kobe was using. Could you imagine Michael <laughs> Jordan, the biggest name in basketball, a 17-year-old kid who he looked up to is trying to come up to him and be something? So for him, it was never about it was just a game of basketball. It was his life. Yeah, he played for seven different teams. But watch this. If you watch him when he played for the Lakers, ugh, horrible, right? And I think he was there three seasons. Three seasons. When you watched him when he played for Detroit, his swag was there. He was comfortable. So what Stephen A. Smith doesn't understand, we all have a psyche and a, men a mental understanding and a me mental makeup. So yes, Stephen A. Smith, you might be right that he made $69 million, that, that we all have a right to look at his game and judge it, but no one had the right to play with a kid's mind. That's what you're missing, bro. Stephen A. Smith, I'm not going to talk about you because it's, it's his hair piece or whatever, that's irrelevant. That's not necessary. I don't have to do that to prove I'm a 57-year-old male. I don't, have to, I don't have to fight you to prove that I'm a man. But because my wisdom says that I'm a man. Not, I can't say what I want to say. But guess what, Stephen A. Smith? 17-year-old, what he does now is a grown man. That's his business. I can care less. But I'm looking at the child. I'm looking at someone's son who came into a league without himself. Back then, there was really no entourage like the Ball Brothers having people following you around to where they don't care because that's a representation of the dad. Wasn't there. So what happened? And I'm like making excuses for his rhetoric today, but I can care less. But what I'm telling you is something mental happened and emotional, it happened. Every time he played on the Lakers, I mean, with the Lakers, you can just see it. When he played with Mike and the Wizards, you could just see it. It was just like almost something was attacking him to where he couldn't shake it and let it go. He was overwhelmed and overcome by it. So what, what, what it was, Stephen A. Smith, just not his bloopers, man. Something was going on from the mental perspective. And what he's trying to say, so many people are trying to say, your individuals are capitalizing based in one point when that wasn't the truth. Dude, watch this, man. You take a child and abuse a child for so long, even a child might break down. Why? Because of the mental struggle to maintain their reality. Watch this. To maintain Stephen A. Smith, their reality. Now I gotta I gotta maintain Kobe's reality. I gotta tame, maintain Mike's reality. It was tough doing that that year. Um, I was playing with guys, you know, God bless him, God bless him, Kwame Brown. <laughs> 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 Play, the quality of the basket, all by himself. Clearly, that all by himself. 
Now I'm passing the ball, and finally they throw it out of bounds. <laughs> So we go back to the town hall, I'm like, I'm pissed, right? And he, he goes, hey, um, I was like, oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> this is how I'm talking to him, I'm doing it again. It's like, I'm doing well. He's like, um, um, I said, you know, you don't make me a like, she's just told me. I said, well, I won't let her go to you. Like, oh, don't talk to me. I said, why not? He said, well, if I'm catching it, I'm going to make a free throw. <laughs> 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 I said, hell no. I said, well, I said, hey, Phil, man, take him out the game, man. He's like, nah, I'm figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> to show you how he laughed with a bunch of white scoffers in a media interview about this kid. Man, you, you come on, Stephen A. Smith, you know the truth, brother, and you get it. I'm not dealing with Kwame Brown as a man. And what shows he goes on and what he does. It's not my business. He's a man now. And he's right. He has to support his own narrative. I'm not supporting him or you. But what I'm saying is, I'm going back to the kid, man. I taught special ed for 24 years. And it takes a person with compassion and a heart to deal with kids. Some of them can't talk. That you have to feed them, that you have to change them, that you have to be responsible for them. So my level of compassion is totally different. Sometimes we have to think out the box and go beyond basketball and look at a child. And he's, let me tell you something. I was told that if a child is up to 18, 21, even past that, he, some people are still a child. They just have a body. So because we're looking at the six at the seven foot frame, we say he's a man and he can deal with Michael Jordan's crap or Kobe Bryant's crap. And yet he's just leaving home. That's why I disagree with the NBA and allowing children to come in the league. LaMelo Ball, because his father was age appropriate. Other people no, especially from certain states. No, no, it's too much pressure. It's too much stress. Could you imagine laying awake every night after the game and thinking, man, I messed up. I want this MJ pissed off with me. Man, I messed up. Kobe tried to pass me the ball and I told him I don't want it. Could you imagine what that was? And then when you go in the room, you can't, when, when you're in the clubs and you go places, you can't go to the clubs with him. You can't hang out with him. You're only 17, 18. You can't drink in 20, until you're 21. So now I'm isolated. Stephen A. Jackson, I'm by myself. Yes, I'm a basketball player. Yes, they just gave me 12 million, but I'm by myself. I have to call my mom and talk to her. Mm -hmm. I have to get her to support, support me. I'm going to say this one thing before I get off. Charlemagne was wrong, 100% wrong. I would never call another man to God. And I wish I knew his regular name because I wouldn't call him that name either. But he was wrong. He was 100% wrong. And the way he did it, you don't disclose another man's personal information to social media unless you are a coward looking for the narrative of economics. I'm sorry. Matt Barnes, he had issues with Kwame Brown when he paid, played for the Lakers. Go back and look at some tape and look at some videos. Matt Barnes had problems with himself. He had problems with Kobe Bryant. He had problems with, that's just that dude. That's just that dude. And sometimes you have to know a person's character and overlook them. Because to come back at them, they're going to give you their level of maturity, causing you to reduce your behavior and your emotions to the same thing. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. The blessing is he made a lot of money. He took care of his family. Like he said, like Kwame said, I went to counseling and I went to therapy. I wonder why that was. Hmm. Hmm. Gatekeepers messed up the kids' narrative by their words and by their emotions. So, yeah. Mm hmm. I'm not on either side of the fence. Why? He's a grown man. He has to fight his own battles. <laughs> like I heard him say to somebody else, how I'm going to pay your rent? How I'm going to take up for you? My business is to present the truth on social media. And I presented the truth to every reaction. There is a reaction. Stephen A. Smith wasn't going to get online talking about his penis. 
He wasn't going to do that. But doggone it, he got some people behind him, just like you do, who are going to get on and put a false narrative together to keep the pile of you-know-what rolling. You brothers need to think about it. You brothers need to think about it. You brothers need to think about it. All right? Got to really think about it. Because the house nigga versus the field nigga is still happening. And the question is, which side are you on? Or you're not on either side. Be the best. And the best you can.